So the game I'm playing today is called Spearmint Mountain, another random game I found on itch.io. It was relatively high on the most popular free game section, although I did have to scroll down a little bit in order to find it. This was made for a game jam. Specifically, it was developed for the 25th quarterly Game Maker Game Jam, which is actually sponsored by the developers of the Game Maker engine. I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it is a 2D platformer where you play as a piece of mint, and there are spears you can use for multiple purposes because it, it's spear mint, get it? Making puns out of one of the most generic flavors of gum ever. It's still a great flavor of gum, mind you, but you know, it's 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 kind of boring compared to other flavors, I will admit. Anyway, I, I don't have a clue what this is, so let's let's just get into it here. So you would press X to start. I do believe this has a bit of a story, and it's also not uh, meant to be very long either, because it's just a short little game jam game. It was a cold and dark night at Spearmint Mountain. A most powerful storm was raging, the worst storm of the century. Suddenly, a lightning bolt struck the sacred mint at the summit. The explosion tore off huge mint chunks, all raining down upon the mountain. Under the dark night sky, every last chunk came alive. This is the story of one of those chunks. Yeah, so we get we get struck by a lightning bolt and suddenly we're 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 sentient. We we achieve sentience by getting struck by lightning, so that 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 is a concept that makes total sense. So, we use the arrow keys to move around. Okay, WASND does not work, and I- Oh yeah, we can also use a spacebar to jump. Yeah, we can jump with either the up arrow key or spacebar, but I guess just because it's easier, I'll use the up arrow key for now. Okay, so we have three hearts of health. We'll just- we'll just run over this way. Yeah, because I do know there's obstacles we're gonna have to avoid, so just jump over the- jump over the- the spikes. I assume the spikes will maybe do, like, one damage to me. Oh, good god, I got pretty close to them. But yeah, I do know there are spears you can use later on. You can use them for multiple purposes. Like, you can use them to kill enemies, and you can also use them as bouncy platforms, I believe. Alright, so that's that's the first screen. Let's go, let's go to the next one, then. Let's just transition to the next screen immediately. There's probably a way we'll be able to get up there. I think there's also collectibles, too. There's, like, little mint coins you can obtain. Alright, yeah, grab, grab and poke. Oh, I see. You pick up the stick and you can you can poke the enemy's eyes out. All right, that would probably be useful. But I think, or or wait, can you can can you throw them? Because I thought I saw in one of one of the preview gifs that it was uh, you you could throw them too. Okay, maybe maybe I'll get introduced to that mechanic in just in just a little while. Hang on, I'll I'll poke this guy right here. There we go. Got a little bit of knockback right there. Oh yeah, I can just I can just constantly spam it too. But these guys seem to have invincibility frames, so I'm not gonna be able to like like kill them immediately. Okay, so there there is that. So get past the second screen right here. Just jump up the stairs because that's that's how we normally do things. Uh, that's a leap of faith. Oh God, where am I? Oh, there there was absolutely nothing. All right. Uh, oh, you release the C to throw. Oh, okay, we can aim this too. What in the world? What is this aiming mechanic? I can twist my arm 360 degrees. Also, is it just me, or do I look like, like, like a fireball? Like a frozen fireball? Oh, can I not pick it back up after that? Oh, maybe, okay, maybe, maybe I can't. Alright, well, I wanna, I wanna throw it right there. Okay, so I could use that as a platform, right? Yes, I definitely can, but I guess maybe that's the only thing I can use it for? Okay, but I thought you could, like, bounce up them as well. I thought that's what I saw in one of the screenshots. Okay, so in that case, we'll, we'll throw one right up here. In order to get to this uh, this top part, because I can I can still kind of kind of jump, and still kind of jump pretty pretty high. There's an enemy up there which I am gonna try and kill in just a moment. There we go. Just just grab this, and just poke him with it. Just poke him a few times. There we go. Just to get him out of the way. I'm gonna take it with me because there's not really any other use I have for it. Okay, so that platform is those platforms are moving upwards. Is there is there any particular reason for that? Oh wait, uh, there's there's an enemy. Okay, hang on a second. I just lost my my spear. Hang on, just give give me a moment. Here, I have to. Okay, yeah, I just target him directly, and that that kills him instantly. Okay, I get it. I see what I what I'm doing here. Yeah, and then there's then there's this guy who I'm gonna who I'm gonna try to kill, but this might be kind of kind of hard considering he, the platforms are just moving around all over the place. Okay, yeah. Uh, I just moved into the other one. Okay, hang on a second. Get back over here, please. There we go. Just one one more hit. There. Alright. You're done. I have no idea if there's if there's any way to replenish my health, because I shouldn't have gotten hit like like two times by that. Uh, can I go up that way? It does, it does appear like I can, but if that just leads to a collectible, then 
maybe I won't maybe I won't actually bother with it because I don't I don't really care about about collectibles. Wow, if I can actually stay on the freaking platform. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, wait. Maybe maybe I need to use the spear in order to get it. Okay, well in that case I'm just gonna ignore it. I don't care. I do not care. I do not give a damn about any of that crap. So I'm just gonna gonna move on. Move on with my life. Gonna use that as a platform. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to use it because I, I can't I can't get up there. Fine, use use the other use the other stick. May, may, maybe maybe I need two of them. Maybe maybe that's the maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the entire point. Here, put that up there. And sure enough, I placed it too high, so now I can't I can't get to it. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, I'll do this then. Boom. Now it's high enough. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here, for goodness sakes. You you get out of here too. This little this little little spiked worm creature. All right. Cool. Cool beans. And just just in case I fall, I guess I'll 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 throw this over here. There we are. All right. So that's that's the other screen taken care of. That is a bat. I just got killed by the bat. But at least I just I just start over here. So here, let me let me try and do this do this correctly here. Okay, so yeah, I can't I can't fall on top of you. Okay, yeah. So I have to I have to press the C key. I have to press the C key. Is there is there something special down here? Okay. There well it does appear as though there there is actually. Okay, well at least the enemies don't respawn. Hang on, I think this is one of the coins. Okay, yeah. Do I get to keep the coin after I die though? Yeah, it would appear as though I do. All right, well, that's that's good. Then in that case, um, how exactly? Well, what is it? What is it telling me right here? Oh, press Z in midair to ground pound. Oh, I see. So can I use that to to kill the enemies? Probably. Okay, so I'm thinking, maybe I should put that like right there, just so I can make a platform for myself so that I don't fall down there. Oh, I can try it on a spear. Oh, maybe that's that's what I'm supposed to use in order to uh in order to uh like like use them as bouncy platforms. I have to ground pound on them. Okay. Well in that case, put that right there. Ground pound on this. Okay, yeah, I can I can use it like that. Okay, well I'm gonna take another spear with me because I just have a feeling I might have to use one. I mean I do need to use one right here in order to get this guy off the platform. Actually, I think a better idea would just be to throw it at him. There we go, just to get him out of the picture. I'm gonna go back down and just grab another one. Not a big issue. Not a big issue in the slightest. Just jump on this platform right here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna... Okay, well that was... I mean, I, I hit him, but that was a very poorly timed shot. I guess this is more like a, a, a puzzle platformer then. Because I have to I have to bring spears with me and I need to try and uh, like use them as platforms and whatnot. And okay, well I just I just threw it away. Okay, well I'm trying to throw it, but like the, the, the reticle's not, not appearing. Hang on a second. Oh wait, maybe it's because I wasn't actually targeting anything. Yeah, that could explain it. That could explain it. I'm just a stupid. I am just a stupid. Okay, here. I place it right there, and I'll jump right over here, which I, I was able to make it. That's another mint coin up there, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I'll place one right there. I'll ground pound this. Yeah, here we go, in order to, in order to make it up this way. I'm gonna just wait for this guy to move out of the way and then poke him. Poke him? Oh, can I not move him off of platforms? Can they just like float? That doesn't seem that doesn't seem that fair. Uh, okay, can I not place this while it's moving? It does not appear as though I can. Is there any way I can just place it back down? Yeah, but why can I not pick it back up after after I I throw it into the ground? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, actually, oh no, there's there's still a use for it because I can still ground pound into it even when it is on the ground. Okay, yeah, that 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 works. That works. That works out well, I guess. Okay, there is there is a bat down over there, but do I wanna do I wanna deal with him right now? I don't think he even sees me, so I think I'll just I'll just I'll just ignore him. All right, so in that case, I'll throw this into the ground, and I can try a ground pound on this in order to get to this top platform up here. Okay, now we're now we're looking up at the at the night sky. The night sky is filled with tetrominoes. <laughs> All right. This is interesting. Oh wait, no, I can still move around here. We're going up to a giant, a giant peppermint, or spearmint, I guess, but... And there it was. The sacred mint that had given birth to our unlikely hero. Finally home, he thought to himself. What a long and tiresome journey. Along the way, he had blacked out four times, but he still managed to push through. Yes, and all because he, he tried collecting a stupid coin. And he had collected one small and shiny mint coins. I wonder how many coins I missed. The end.
Oh, so that's that's just the entire game. All right. Well, I was expecting it to be short, but I didn't think it would be that short. Well, I guess in that case, maybe I could try looking for the other mint coins because if this if this game is literally this short, then it wouldn't be that difficult looking for the other coins then in that case. So, yeah, sure. Let's go coin hunting because I still feel like this video is a little bit on the short side, but y you know what? L let's try looking for the rest of these coins then. And, and see if we can 100% this. Can I actually control my jump here? Okay, no, this this is another one of those games where I can control my jump by how long I hold down either the up arrow key or the space bar. Okay, well, that's that's good to know at least. Actually, can I can I travel back to screens I've already I've already been on? Let me ju let's just see here. Okay, yes, I can. So I could potentially bring back one of the spears with me. All right, well, in that case, I'll, I'll go and pick them up here and, and, and try this out. I, I would normally feature this in one of my randomizer videos, guys, but not everything that is free and short will be feature will be only featured in my randomizer videos. Because a long time ago, with, with these, with these like, free games, I used to just feature all of them in, in their own separate video, because that's what I used to do a long time ago. Only reason I started doing the, the randomizer stuff was because, uh, you know, j just for the much shorter games, the games that only take, like, maybe five minutes to complete at most. All Alright, so that's that's one coin. So I think what I'm gonna do now is that I saw another platform back this way. Which I definitely think I could I could try I could try shooting for. Uh well well where was it exactly? Yeah, it was, it was up there. It was up there, right? Now how exactly am I gonna get to it though? Because I do know that I can I can I can throw the spear up there for sure. But is that going to I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to jump up there, so I'm going to have to use it to ground pound. But I'm also wondering something. If I leave the screen, will that cause the spear to despawn? I hope it doesn't, but I'm going to go grab another one in the meantime. Okay, actually, these ones didn't despawn, so maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just stays there. That would be good then. I'm going to try and find all these coins. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but just for the sake of, of completion. Let's try ex exploring the world a little bit, because the world is incredibly small. So, I'm going to say... I'm going to place this right down here and maybe try to ground pound on it. Okay, yes, that does lead me up higher. Okay, but then I'm going to have to use another spear, because I guess I didn't place that one up high enough. Fine, then. It's probably going to involve a lot of, of walking back and forth. Thankfully, I have a bunch of other spears over here, so I can just keep doing this as much as I want. Okay, now that we have the other spear, let's do this. And we're going to throw this right here. I think that would be good. Yeah, now we're up this way. Okay, now we need more... Okay, what, what do we need the other spears for? So it does appear like there's, there's more spikes, but I mean, that is the mint coin. So we can go and collect it. But what would we need? What would we need the other stuff for? Well, actually, I think I just realized what we what we would need it for. Cause didn't. Well, actually, did I see something over here? Well, that kind of that kind of makes me curious now. Because is 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 there like like something up this way, perhaps? Or does that or does this just stretch on infinitely? Like, is there something over that wall over there? Or is there only like one mint coin for for each area? I'm not entirely sure, but I found two so far. So I feel like I'm I'm making some progress. Oh what? Oh, I see. This wall wasn't even solid. There's there's a uh, a little a little cave right here that I could go into and I could get a mint coin. All right. So at least at least I found that one. I didn't notice that at first. Yeah. There's a little bit of a. You see how the how the outline changes a little bit right here. Yeah. I see. The hidden cave. Okay. I got another one. That's three of them. Okay, yeah, and there's another one right over there, which I could probably get to if I ground pound somehow. Uh, hmm. Okay, actually, let's th let's try throwing it down here, then, in that case. I don't know if that's gonna get enough distance, but let's see. Ooh, close. Okay, that gives me an idea, then. That does, in fact, give me an idea. But I think I'll have to try and put it a little bit closer to the edge, though. Like, right... Yeah, like right, like right here at the very edge. Get it stuck in there. There we go, got it. Okay, so that's that's another one. That's four. I'm not sure how many of them there are, but I'm gonna try and collect as many as I can find. There was this area over here that I that I didn't get to. I already killed the enemy that was over here, by the way. I already took care of him. Okay, now I just have to get over here. We got that coin. Okay, that's five. That's five right now. Also, I did find out that if you do... 
end up using all of the spears that are available in the room. If you decide to leave the room, they all respawn. You can get them back, they're not gone forever. Then of course there was the one down here that I that I had already found. You know, I'm really not used to the spear throwing mechanic in this game because when you when you try to like when you when you hold the up arrow key when you're trying to aim the spear in order to throw it, it, it makes your character target downwards instead of upwards, and that's really confusing. It's like the controls are inverted, almost. Right, so there was- there was that one over there, which... Is there a way that I could get to it by just... Maybe putting this right down over here? Yeah, it, there- well, there might be a way. Let me- let me just try it. Like I said, right- right at the edge, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I managed to collect it. Okay, that's seven. But is there only seven? Because this is the final screen of the game. So I'm- I'm just worried that I may be going past something. Okay, you know what, just- just kill me in order to get all my health back. Because yeah, I know you're gonna- you're gonna come back towards me. There we go, get out of here. And all the spears that I've already thrown, they don't despawn, but everything else does. Okay, that's good, that gives me even more spears to work with, actually. There we go. I got another one. There was a, a hidden one over this way because there were there were uh, some other platforms above the spikes. Okay, so that's that's eight. I don't. I'm not sure if there are any more. There's chance that could be all of them. I mean, this is this is the final platform anyway. So, okay, let's let let's see it then. Let's see it then. I mean, I can still move around. Well, actually, oh no, I can't. I can't move off the platform. Okay, so I can I can just move around on the platform, but I can't jump off it and like bounce on the tetrominoes or anything. So maybe there maybe there is no uh maybe there are no mint coins on them. L let's just see. Is, is there eight? Maybe maybe I had all of them. T tell me. Blacked out five times. He still managed to push through. X small and shiny mint coins. I wonder how many coins I missed. Did I- did I still miss more? Were there still more beyond that? Okay, well the game didn't tell me whether or not I collected all the coins. Maybe- maybe there were eight? Maybe there were more that I didn't notice? I- I don't believe there were any more. Cause that th those were the only ones I could find. Just leave me in the dark game, sure. Okay, well either way, I'm going to leave things here for now, guys. So yeah, that's Spearmint Mountain. Just a short little indie game developed for a game jam. And this came out pretty recently, by the way. This was only uploaded to itch.io a couple weeks ago. So that was a nice, short little experience. Not the most challenging ever, and also incredibly short. But then again, it was made in just two days for a game jam. As I always keep saying, don't expect that much from, from these game jams games, guys. Like, they're developed in so little time, and they're not meant to be fully-fledged products anyway, so you should wholeheartedly expect them to be very small projects. But I still had fun in the short amount of time it lasted. The theme of the most recent Game Maker Game Jam was one tool many uses, I believe, so that's that's what this game is themed around. In this case, the tool is the spear. You can use them as platforms, you can ground pound on them in order to jump even higher, you can also use it to poke enemies' eyes out, so it definitely has multiple uses. And there are some collectibles to find, like you have the mint coins. I, I don't know if I collected all of them. I managed to find eight, but the main character still still wondered whether or not he he missed some of them. So the game's just gonna leave me in the dark about it. And that's the thing I always worry about when I am going on these collectathon missions. The one thing I constantly worry about is, did I go past something? Like, did I did I inspect this area thoroughly, or is there a region that I may have missed somewhere? I don't feel like I did. I feel like that might have been every single coin in the game, but I'm not sure. Maybe there were more I missed, but I don't feel like going back for them right now. I did what I could, okay? I'm not- I'm not the best at scavenger hunts. I'm not sure what position this game came in in the Game Maker Game Jam. I do know that this is not the Game Jam version I'm playing because there was an update released after the game had been submitted to the Game Jam. And actually, I just found out because I decided to check out the game's itch.io page again. Some of the areas in this version of the game are actually new, so they- they didn't even exist in the compo version. Not only that, but the the ending is different as well, so I guess the game had a different ending in the compo release too. But yeah, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna assume for now that I collected all the mint coins. If- if I went past anything, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And if you want to download this game and play it for yourself, so that that way you can tell me whether or not I missed anything, link's in the description. It is free, but it's also pay your own price, so if you want, you can choose to pay money for this. Even though it is incredibly short, like I said, you could- you could probably get through it in just, like, five minutes.
minutes. In order to find all the mint coins, it might take you maybe twice as long. Well, not even, I, I wouldn't think. Especially if you know where to find all of them. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Spearman Mountain, just a cool little short platformer. Just wanted to play something a little more relaxed this time because I've been playing so many difficult games as of late. So I just wanted to play something a little, a little more calm and relaxing in order to repress my masochistic tendencies. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!